Imagine a universe filled with breathable air, where astronauts can casually remove their helmets and inhale the cosmic atmosphere. Join us as we dive into the captivating what-if the scenario of a breathable outer space. Prepare to be astounded by the mind-bending changes in this extraordinary cosmic exploration. Breathable air everywhere. On Earth, our atmosphere primarily consists of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases. However, molecular oxygen becomes rare beyond an altitude of about 10,000 kilometers, 6,200 miles, above the Earth's surface. Instead, oxygen atoms in space react with hydrogen atoms, forming water ice rather than molecular oxygen. But what if we could alter this cosmic chemistry and extend breathable air throughout the universe, hearing the symphony of the cosmos? In the vacuum of space, sound cannot travel because there are too few molecules to carry vibrating sound waves. However, in our imagined scenario of a breathable space atmosphere, sound waves would have the means to travel great distances. As a result, you could listen to the sun and the other planets, turning the cosmos into an auditory wonderland, the deafening sun. The sun, in particular, is constantly vibrating at different frequencies. Its vibrations would be audible in a breathable space atmosphere, and the sun's sound would be deafening. Despite the vast distance between our star and the Earth's surface, the volume would reach 125 decibels, only magnified by the intensity of thousands of police sirens. Exploring the planetary orchestra, not only would the sun make its presence known, but the other planets in our solar system would also contribute to this symphony of space. Each planet has its unique sound signature, shaped by its composition, atmosphere, and various geological phenomena. With a breathable space atmosphere, you could listen to the eerie whistling of the winds on Mars, the thunderous storms of Jupiter, or the mysterious hum of Saturn's rings. Cosmic Phenomena Harmonies Beyond our immediate solar system, the breathable space atmosphere would allow us to hear the subtle hums and vibrations of distant celestial objects. Supernovae, pulsars, and black holes, among other cosmic phenomena, would become part of the symphony. Implications for space exploration. The ability to breathe throughout the universe would revolutionize space exploration. Astronauts could travel to distant planets, moons, and other star systems without bulky life support systems. This newfound mobility would open up opportunities for colonization and the search for extraterrestrial life. Living in a sonic universe, living in a space environment filled with audible sound waves would require significant adaptations. Humans would need to adjust to the constant din, potentially leading to changes in sleep patterns, concentration abilities, and overall mental well-being. The vacuum of space is a unique environment where there is no friction. This lack of friction allows planets and moons to orbit the sun without losing their speed over time. However, if outer space were suddenly filled with air, it would create a significant problem for celestial bodies in our solar system. Without air, planets and moons peacefully move through space, following their orbital paths around the sun. But if the vacuum of space were filled with air, these celestial bodies would encounter a new obstacle, high-speed collisions with air particles. Imagine the Earth, for example, continuing its orbit around the Sun at a velocity of 30 kilometers per second, 18.6 miles per second. The Earth constantly collides with countless air particles in a space filled with air. These collisions would be similar to when asteroids enter our planet's atmosphere. When asteroids enter the Earth's atmosphere, they experience friction with the air particles. This friction generates intense heat, causing the asteroids to heat up and burn as they streak through the sky. Similarly, if the Earth were surrounded by air while orbiting the Sun, it would experience the same fate. In a space filled with air, though, the Moon would gradually lose its momentum and eventually come to a complete stop. Without the vacuum of space to sustain its motion, the Moon's orbit would decay over time due to the constant drag from air particles. This decay would cause the Moon to slow down progressively until it finally halted in its tracks. The Moon would no longer circle the Earth, and its gravitational influence on our planet could be significantly altered. The consequences of filling space with air would extend far beyond the Earth and the Moon. The delicate balance of the entire solar system would be disrupted. 
The Moon-Earth Collision If Earth's gravity were to draw the Moon closer, a collision between the two celestial bodies would be inevitable. The resulting impact would be incredibly powerful, potentially tearing the Earth apart and causing unimaginable destruction. The released energy from this collision would have global ramifications, leading to widespread devastation and making survival extremely challenging. The transformation of the solar system and the mass of air and compression. The Moon-Earth collision would have devastating effects on both Earth and the solar system. However, it's important to note that transforming the solar system into a black hole due to this collision is highly unlikely. Black holes are formed through different processes involving massive stars collapse. The scenario described here is speculative and not supported by current scientific understanding. That being said, the air in the solar system adds mass to the overall system. If the sun's gravitational pull were to compress all this mass toward its center, the solar system would become denser. The radius of the heliosphere, which encompasses the solar system, spans about 90 astronomical units, AU, which is a significant distance. The mass contained within this volume is estimated to be approximately 5 billion times more than the mass of the sun itself. As this mass compresses, the density of the solar system increases. If all the air within the solar system were to compress into a space approximately 80% of Earth's diameter, it could potentially lead to the formation of a black hole. If such a black hole were to form, it would be enormous, approximately 1,200 times more massive than the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. The hypothetical creation of a black hole and the enormity of the hypothetical black hole. In the unlikely event that the mass in the solar system was to compress, the density of the system would experience a significant increase. This compression would occur if all the air within the solar system were somehow compressed into a space roughly 80% of Earth's diameter. While this idea is intriguing, it is important to note that it is purely speculative and not currently supported by scientific understanding. However, it is crucial to reiterate that this concept of a black hole forming from mass compression in the solar system is not based on current scientific understanding. Black holes are typically formed through massive stars' gravitational collapse, a process involving complex astrophysical mechanisms. The compression of the solar system's mass into a black hole-like state is highly improbable and not supported by scientific evidence. As we conclude this mind-blowing journey through a universe filled with breathable air, the implications have been astonishing. From the secrets of newfound civilizations to the transformative impact of space travel, our exploration has shattered all expectations. Like, share, and subscribe to never miss out on future what-if adventures that push the boundaries of our imagination.